Hello friends, in this presentation we will solve one more gate QFCS question. This question was asked in gate 2017. The concepts involved in this question are pointers and strings. So this is a question. So we have taken a character pointer C equal to gate CSIT 2017. So this is a string value. So instead of taking the string, what I am doing, I am taking character pointer. So both are same. And so this string has been stored in this way gate csit 2017 it starts with address 1000 and differs by one byte each because it is a character and the size of the character is one byte and ends with a null character and in the next statement we are assigning char star p equal to c what does this mean so what does c represent c is nothing but the base address of this particular array so star p is also a character pointer which is uh, pointing to the address of this entire string that means now star p is also pointing to the address of this particular string that is thousand so address of base address of this string is thousand obviously c will point the name is nothing but the base address c is nothing but the base address so if you access uh, uh, array name array name is nothing but the base address now we have assigned that to a pointer p so c and p both will point to the base address so even you can access the array with the help of c pointer with the help of uh, p okay now we are trying to print the string length of this so what was the expression given here expression right c plus 2 of p minus 6 of p minus 1 what is c i have already told you that c is nothing but the base address 1000 plus 2 of p i can write 2 of p as star of 2 plus p 2 of p is nothing but star of 2 plus p so which we can write as p plus 2 what is p p is nothing but 1000 so i will, I will replace p by 1000 thousand, thousand plus 2 so 1000 plus 2 is nothing but 1002 what is 1002 so what is the data that is pointing to 1002 it is nothing but t okay so i will write t here next we have 6 of p similarly 6 of p is nothing but star of 6 plus p okay so 6 plus p is nothing but 1000 plus uh, 6 that is 1006 so what is the date so point to the address 1006 that is i i is present in this location so we have c plus 2 of p minus 6 of p minus i so 2 of p is nothing but uh, t minus we have uh, 6 of p is nothing but i minus 1 so 1000 plus t minus i minus 1 so t minus 1 as you already know that each and every character will have an integer value that is ascii value so in, you need not know the ascii values of t and i but one thing that you should know that each and every ascii value are sequentially arranged that is alphabets are sequentially arranged so if you can assume i as 1 j as 2 k as 3 like that go up to t t will be 12 so difference between t and i would be 12 minus 1 okay so 12 minus 1 is nothing but 11 okay so i will replace t minus i as 11 so 11 minus 1 would be 10 okay 1000 plus 10 is nothing but 1010 so what is 1010 1010 is the address where 1 is stored so if you if you uh, calculate the address of if you calculate the string length that is str len of 1010 it will consider the data present from that location to null value okay so it will consider not only one so if it is not a string that it will consider only one value but it is it is a string here so it will consider from that particular location to the end, end of the array so we have one we have seven null value so it will not consider null value it's just an indication that the string has been ended so it will consider not only one but up to the end so one and seven so string length of one and seven is nothing but two it will return two so the correct answer for this question is option b two bytes okay friends this is it for now and thank you for watching this presentation see you in the next presentation bye bye